According to Wikipedia, sound is a vibration that propagates as an acoustic wave through a transmission medium such as a gas, liquid or solid. In human physiology and psychology, sound is the reception of such waves and their perception by the brain. But do you know at what speed sound travels? In this video, I will show you a clever experiment to measure the speed of sound using everyday tools and objects you can find around your house. For this experiment, we will require a phone or camera, measuring tape or a yardstick, and assistant. I did some research and found this equation used to measure the speed of sound given some constants and the temperature T. Notice that from this equation we can see that the velocity of sound is directly proportional to the temperature T. So when we are doing the experiment, we can measure the outside temperature to get accurate results. We begin by measuring out some distance T. This equation will be used to solve for the velocity of sound. Notice how we can almost treat sound as if it's an object. First, we turn the phone on recording and ask our assistant to clap or make a loud noise. Because the speed of light is faster than the speed of sound, we see the clap first and then hear the sound. For small values of D, our brain cannot process this tiny delay, but with the phone we can slow down the video and measure it by counting the frames. Let's say that the amount of frames we count is delta F, and the phone records the video at F sub PS frames per second. Therefore, given these two values, we can find in seconds how long the sound took to reach our ears. Now, we know d and t sub s, so we can easily find the velocity of sound like so. Awesome, now let's go try it out. We need to find delta f. So to begin, we take note at the time when we see the clap. Next, we count the frames it takes for us to hear the sound, like so. With this measurement, we can substitute in the equation and solve for the velocity of sound. But I didn't stop there. I asked my sister to clap 40 times and 10 times each to 4 different distances. By taking multiple measurements, now I can also compute the precision of my estimate. Here is the data I collected using the 40 measurements. The distribution of the measurements follows a standard bell curve like you would expect. The speed of sound measured by accurate scientific instruments at 20 degrees Celsius is 343 meters per second. And what do you know? My experiment gave me an average of 329 meters per second. Pretty close. The coolest part of taking multiple measurements is that I can say with 95% confidence that the speed of sound will be between 314 and 364 meters per second. All the code for the animations used in this video will be on my GitHub page and the data as well. I would like to thank 3Blue1Brown for making such an awesome Python library which I used to make this video. I would also like to thank my sister and dad who helped me a lot during the experiment and of course, thanks to you for watching.